So as you know, this is the mega squirt, uh, not the micro squirt. So there are a few things that you have to do. With our car, we will be reading off of the air fuel gauge, off the wide band. So with that, you need to pin this out. Now, LMR has a really good video, guys. Go check out LMR's video on how to pin everything out. It's, it's very simple, but what it is is this comes with a pack of pins and a pigtail, and all you're going to do is just pin the number 21 port. That way, when you plug it into the back, the number 21 port now has a pin on it, and that is what you're going to tie into your AFR gauge. On the inside, there's something we need to change. So there's four screws. Take those out, and then you're going to have two nuts right here that you have to remove. Pull that off. Uh, inside here, you're going to have a J8-43 and a an O2 sensor. So what you're going to have to do is take this out right here. Originally, it is set up on the O2 sensor and J8-29. Now what we want to do is change that to J8-43 and O2 sensor. So you're going to have to jump this over to that side. And all that's doing is telling the computer that we're going to be reading off of the driver's side uh, instead of the passenger side. It probably doesn't matter, but that's the way LMR did it. That's the way I'm going to do it. Oh yeah, by the way, I got my brother over today. So uh, he's helping me out with this. We're about ready to go ahead and put everything in the car really the only thing we got to do now is put wire the one wire up temporarily from the wide band uh probably just run a vacuum line through the door for right this second make sure everything's good and see if we can get this thing to fire off guys this is really simple to do it's pretty much plug and play and uh, i'll get back with you in just a second the final step is just make sure that you put your vacuum hose on uh, they supply that so you got a nice long roll of it and what you want to do is come in, they supply you with a T. So just come in somewhere along one of your vacuum lines, put a T in it. For right now, we're not going to run it through the firewall. We're just going to hook it up, run it through the door of the car. We'll make sure everything works. We're just going to run it around like this. And eventually, probably tomorrow, we'll come in and make sure everything's good. All right, so uh, right now, all you got to do is just screw your plug in just like you would on your factory computer. Your signal wire goes to your AFR gauge. You got a port right here, and that's where your vacuum line is gonna plug in, guys. That's it. So, we should be ready to try to start it up. So, uh, what we're gonna do is go ahead and try to start it up and just see if everything will work. Cross your fingers, guys. Fuel pump, come on, that's good. pop this back on so we don't suck any trash up and uh remember guys the car has to be tuned so this is just the initial kind of start up to make sure that the car will, will run okay so all we did was start it up just to make sure that everything's working right so we got to get the computer hooked up to it make sure everything will work all the firmware i'm not sure i actually use a macbook so i'm not sure if this is going to work but I can get the wife's Windows laptop if we need to. So let me go in here, see if I can get this computer fired up, see if we can get this thing hooked up. See in a few. My brother's standing right here. Are you not surprised at how quick this went? I'm very, it was It was very quick. Yeah. Immediate. Everything just worked. And, and it's, honestly, it's kind of self-explanatory for the most part. Now I'm going to show you some stuff. Guys, I am no professional tuner, okay? Don't follow everything I'm doing step by step. There are websites out there. There's training seminars that you can kind of attend and go to. So don't take my word for everything, but I want to show you what I did and kind of figured this out real quick. Like, I mean, it would have took us maybe 10 minutes or so. And uh, I knew kind of what we had to do. Guys, it has worked out. <laughs> I'm so pleased. The firmware on everything worked, no issues. And I'm on a MacBook on top of that. So as you can see, we are connected down here that is a good sign that is what you want to see because so many times whenever you do stuff like this the firmware doesn't work it's been a pleasure so far with this now we've not got into any really tuning or anything like that but so far i am super 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 impressed and i mean that because i'm telling you any of you guys that have ever tuned a car or been around it 
Like, my yellow car has been tuned with SCT. Completely different. The firmware never wants to work. It never wants to connect. I mean, you switch this car off, it goes off. You switch it back on, it immediately connects. I am just over the moon about this, to be honest with you. So what I'm going to do is just real quick, like, go through some of the initial settings that I found that were off. And hopefully, I'm doing this right. Like I said, guys, don't follow this. This isn't the gospel here, okay? I'm just showing you what I did. So on this, you know that you need to match the timing on your car with the timing on the computer. And the reason for that, obviously, is if you're making adjustments on the computer and your timing is set on the car to 20 degrees, but on here it's registering 10 degrees, you go to add another 10 degrees of timing to this thing or 5 degrees of timing and you're really overshooting it. So you need to make sure that everything's set up correctly. So I'm going to stop this portion of the tutorial right here uh, with the timing because I don't want to tell you guys wrong and this is a very important step. You can really mess something up if you get the timing off. There again, I'm going to refer you to LMR's video. There's also a ton of other videos out there that you can check. All right, let's go ahead and skip to the next step. Uh, basic load settings. Uh, we had to come in here and go to engine and sequential settings. The injector size had no settings on that, so we did a quick calculation. It pretty much tells you right here everything you need to know, guys. It says right here, the size of each of your main primary injectors in CC, minimum typical conversion from pounds an hour is multiplied by 10.5. Alexa, what's 24 times 10.5? 24 times 10.5 is 252. So we got our engine size and we got our injector size. We did have to go in and calibrate the throttle position sensor because it was bouncing all over the place. And the way we did that is go to tools, go to calibrate TPS. And uh, what you're going to do is you want it to read your closed amount right now because obviously everything is closed. So you can click get current. And then what you can do is go manually open it all the way wide open and you'll get a reading right here and when you do that click get current and that just sets everything right that sets your low point and your high point click accept and everything will zero out same thing with everything else on here right go through there your afr uh i will show you guys that because that was a little different go in here to calibrate afr table Go right here and I have the innovate so I clicked this one originally and whenever I and once you're done once you pick what you want click right to controller so when I did that the AFR was completely off from what it was reading in the car so I tried the other one worked out good so uh, that's kind of where we're at right now like I said this is not gonna be a, a tuning uh, video right now you know we're not gonna get into all that Apple camera. <laughs> Look who's back <laughs> off vacation. I don't think I can call it vacation. Yeah. All right, guys, we had some technical difficulties. Andrew doesn't know how to start the car, obviously. But no, seriously, uh, uh, basically what's happening right now is we got to adjust on the uh, idle air control. And hey, I'm still learning right, but we do have the car running. We got the air fuel not exactly where we want it, but uh, we're still working on that. Right, right now we're at like 11.9, 12. We can come in here and uh, this might turn the car off when I do this. We'll have to see. Oh, okay. We're good. So, as you can see, the car already changes tones just by changing a few of these. So, uh, basically what it's doing right now is interpolating in between all these cells. And we are up to, we're actually a little lean right now. We're at about 14 to 15. So, what I'll do is just come in. On idle, you really can play around with this. And uh, not a lot you can mess up, I guess. Oh yeah, that was a big change. The car needs to be adjusted out a lot better than what it is right now, obviously. 
<laughs> I know a lot of you tuners out there are like, oh my God, you don't know what you're doing. And you're right. I have no clue. But we are I'm learning. Here to save the day. But we are learning. Andrew's here to save the day. So he's going to teach me, you know, how to do this. I fixed the car and everything, but when I got here, the car started running. So tonight uh, and probably tomorrow, I'm going to sit down and do some research and uh, just kind of start from scratch with it. We got the car a little <clears> idle now, so that's that was the main goal, right? Uh, we're not taking it down the road. We're not trying to drive it because at this point, I don't know enough about what I'm doing. But you do have to get the car to run under its own power. So we got that. I'm pretty pleased with it. So I guess this will be like the initial, like first startup type stuff. And some of the stuff that I showed you earlier absolutely works. I'm gonna refer you to LMR's uh, YouTube page because they've got a bunch of stuff on this that we actually had to watch it earlier tonight. And uh, they've got some really good tips to get you started. And uh, from there, we're just gonna see what happens. Uh, I'm not gonna come out here and just start punching numbers in and saying, hey guys, this is what you do. I'm gonna research it, make sure it works, and then I'll let you know. What? <laughs> what? Man, I didn't, I didn't say anything. <laughs> Andrew comes back and the jokes start immediately. All right, guys. I think that's going to wrap it up tonight. But anyway, uh, we'll be back hopefully with some more insight on this and uh, how, to, how to tune a car. Before it's all said and done, Andrew might actually learn something. And as always, I will learn you something. Thanks for watching. <laughs>